Let me tell you about the Vaquita. You've probably never heard of them before, and that's okay. But hopefully by the time this video ends, you'll care about saving them as much as I do. They can only be found at the tip of the Gulf of California. And they're actually the smallest type of whale or dolphin. But they are also now officially considered the world's most endangered animal. The Gulf of California is filled with illegal gillnets that drown the vaquita. 20 years ago, more than 600 vaquita lived in the Gulf, but now less than 10 are left. Some people think it's too late to save them, but I disagree. There's still one way that they can be saved. Hey guys, my name is Ben Bruce. Today we're in Baja, California, where I'm just about to set sail to try to find one of the rarest animals in the world. It's called the vaquita. I'll see you on the boat. I was crossing my fingers as we sailed out of the bay hoping maybe, just maybe, we'd get to sight these animals. Two scanners were stretched out from the side of the boats. They were trying to pick up any vaquita noises heard beneath the waves. Oh! 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 There's gonna be a huge one. As you can see, the waves were massive, but we were having some fun. We were now out in the middle of the gulf, and there was no land in sight for miles on any direction. Okay, you guys, I still can't believe I'm actually about to say this, but we have a vaquita sighting. Right off the boat right now, we just saw the fins. I'm gonna put my gear in and get in the water and check it out. I'm gonna take you guys with me, using a camera, so that you guys can see them too. Let's go. I couldn't believe it. Half of the world's vaquita population was right in front of my eyes. Watching the pod was so graceful, and they were actually quite friendly too. They stuck around for a while before vanishing off into the blue abyss. Hey guys, so um, we're back on the boat now heading back. That was an amazing, amazing encounter with the vaquitas. But it really hits hard knowing that they're the last ones in the world. Those were the last ones. I mean, I can't believe it. I doubt you can either. And it really just makes me want to save them even more. As we were heading back to land, I quickly realized I couldn't let these animals go extinct. That's what made me want to make this video. Like I said earlier, if we work together, it's not too late to save them. 
I actually have a plan to save the vaquitas, and I need you guys to spread this video to as many people as possible. People tried to capture one before, but it quickly died due to the stress. However, there is a less stressful way we can try. I know it's not the ideal life for a dolphin, but we can slowly adapt the vaquitas to human contact and eventually transport them to an aquarium. This way they won't have any threats and they will be able to safely reproduce and regrow their population. And then, maybe one day, they'll be able to make a safe return home.